It's probably best described as um, mass animation. Um, so whenever we have uh, large scale armies or big schools of fish or flocks of bird or herds of mammoth or even waves of zombies and things like that, that's, uh, that's the kind of work that we traditionally do. At a basic level, we're essentially taking a whole bunch of animations of uh, a creature's motion. We're then, um, we're then replicating that many hundreds slash or thousands of times. Um, and what we're doing then is we're adding little bits of behavior to these guys um, so that they understand that, OK, when I reach this point here, I maybe have to change my animation clip so I start waving. Or uh, it, you know, if I'm hit with a boulder or something, I have to fall over. It's a lot easier than it used to be nowadays. Um, there are off-the-shelf packages that offer you know, uh, training packages. There's uh, such things as Gollum, uh, My Army. I think even Massive now has like training courses, which are uh, traditional soft packages, software packages that have been used for crowding in the past. Um, the main thing that you generally look for in crowd tees is, is good logic and reasoning. Uh, um, and then, you know, definitely a good understanding of computer graphics at, a, at a, quite a technical level. Um, so uh, algebra, programming, that kind of stuff. Some of the stuff that we did lately on w World War Z um, is probably some of the probably the more challenging stuff we've had. You know, we did a lot of stuff, I mean, kind of like this shot over here, like you know, really, really in your face hero stuff, which for us is, you know, it doesn't come around that often. Generally, we're the guys looking after the small things in the background. Um, but on this one, we were like full screen, in your face. Um, and, and there's a few examples of that stuff. I mean, you know, we had a whole range of different challenges on that one, um, from the pyramids through to zombies crashing into each other. Probably in terms of um, interesting-wise, uh, probably some of the work that we actually ended up doing on um, Fantastic Four, just due to its complexity. Um, so something that not traditionally we would ever even really have thought about doing in crowd would be trees and things. Um, and you know that was a request that came in. They were like, okay, do you think you guys can do anything with this? <laughs> Um, and we had a bit of a sit down and I think it's kind of like, um, possibly. Um, so, and in the end it panned out pretty well. Um, but yeah, I think that one was more, most enjoyable um, in a way. Uh, very last minute, um, bit of a change and something completely off the wall from anything we'd ever done before.